Welcome back. Iranian officials are responding, denying any involvement in the stabbing of renowned author Salman Rushdie. Rushdie is still in the hospital this afternoon, and his agent says he is now off a ventilator and is able to talk. On Friday, the author was stabbed several times on stage before giving a lecture in New York. Over the weekend, his attacker, a 24-year-old man from New Jersey, pleaded not guilty to attempted murder charges. While Iranian officials denied any link to the attack, they do cast blame on the author and his supporters. So today marks one year since the Taliban took over Kabul. This time last year, the Taliban moved through Afghanistan's capital after the collapse of, the, of, its, of its government. The Afghan president joined thousands of citizens and foreigners trying to flee the country, while Americans were evacuated by helicopter from the U.S. Embassy. At least 800 Americans have been evacuated from the country since the takeover. R&B singer R. Kelly is back in court today for another trial. Jury selection for his child pornography and obstruction trial begins today. The process is expected to go quickly, and opening statements could begin as early as tomorrow. Earlier this year, the singer was sentenced to 30 years in prison after his 2021 conviction on federal racketeering and sex trafficking charges.